take 100. Hey everybody, HHO for all. I want to show you guys a new project that I'm working on. I had a friend who donated a uh, large box of spare parts. And so I've got a whole bunch of projects that I'm working on all at the same time. It's been a while since I posted the video, so I figured I'd just put this one together and let you guys see some of the stuff that I'm coming up with. Um, anyway, this is basically um, the design I, I got an idea from uh, one of Smack's old boosters and decided I was just going to put it on a smaller form factor here. You know, I'd try and make it a little bit smaller and, and see if I can still get decent output out of it. So that's what I did. Um, I used these uh, kind of small little blade plates and um, pretty thick they're decent pretty good quality and um, anyway I, I just uh, ran a two inch nylon bolt through and uh, got uh, heavy duty steel posts here um, far end is a, a negative the center is positive and then I've got a strap that runs around back here to the other side so it's negatives on the outside positive on the inside I doubled the plates on the positive and negatives and then did uh, three neutrals in between each one uh, so since since it's double plates um, it's still gonna carry the same amount of current over the plate so basically it's it's around two volts per plate and that's what I'm trying to keep it at because I don't want to get it anything more than that because I don't want to boil the water and I don't want the leads to get too hot. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to put this in the container and just show you what it does. Hold on. Okay, let's get that thing in there. Okay, flip the switch. pretty much I'm surprised I'm really surprised I, I gotta be honest because I thought this thing wasn't gonna do anything and um, I don't know maybe it's uh, the higher grade stainless steel maybe it has something to do with the contour or the shape of the plates I don't know but um, for a small cell it's cranking and uh, I'm getting just about eight and a half almost nine amps so uh, it's doing pretty good looks like this power supply is about to die on me though cuz uh, the amps are just bouncing and that's what happened last time I had a power supply that died on me so I'm sure this thing's on its last leg anyway uh, just wanted to share that with you guys and it's been HHO for all I'm out of here